morning guys fam, welcome to moving day, yay, we're moving into our new house to start a whole new life, crazy town man, yeah, Absolutely oh you dropped your tuna, can you pass it up babe before it drops, I've wedged it in between you my belly and the side, oh she's off to the camera, that's why, <laughs> you want to get the camera, instead of giving you it upside down, so me, Chris and Aura about, are about to set off to the new house. We're going to take a few suitcases and a few of the girls' things over. Um, a few clothes. What else have you popped in? Um, Shoes. Like, oh yeah, we're high chair actually as well. The high chair. Just a few things we're going to take over today. We do have this house. We've, just, we've agreed to hand the keys back in a few days. I can't remember when. Um, but we've agreed to hand the key back, keys back in a few days with the owners, the, the holiday let place so we do still have this house there's no immediate rush to get everything out today but we do want to sleep and things in the new house tonight so we need to get as much over there as we possibly can we've also got some things to build the toy unit we've got some chairs outside we need to build we've got Isabel's bed we need to build um, I'm trying to remember and just organize and cl not clean because that's already been done but just organize and put things away and like put all the Ikea things we've got into the cupboards etc etc so me Chris and Aura are gonna go over to the house this morning and do that we're gonna leave Jace and Mila with the older three girls because yesterday when we were all over they just kind of got bored and they were just running around the house causing chaos and none of their toys and things are there yet and ready and me and Chris want to be able to just crack on and get things built so the girls have just said leave them here yes yeah, you're coming to the new house in a little bit, okay? When all your toys and things are there. I also want to set up their bedrooms and then it'd be a surprise when they come over later. So, are you ready to go? Yeah, 100%. Is little lady ready to go? So. Jason Miller have got apples and they're watching Ice Age. Mom, Ice Age, the dawn Mom, of the dinosaurs. I, I think it was this, called. What? I made this, the shoes on. Why would you want your shoes on? You're watching telly. Ted. You can watch telly with your shoes on. Okay. Go ahead then. Do you like them? I think they're a bit big, those ones, for you still. Another day, another delivery, babe. <laughs> it's going to be just like home. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Two seconds in the house, guys, and uh, Amazon guy's back. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. That's awesome, thank you. Thank you very much. My girl's straight in there with her toy box. <laughs> Good little face. Look at her little cheeky face. Look at clap them hands. Let's take this bib off. Did Daddy get wee to be called down your top this morning, Rara? <gasps> what have you got to buy? Yay! Where's all them ties? <laughs> Ooh, where's all these ties? You got so many. You a lucky girl. Are you a happy little girl? Look at her little headband and her hair poking out the back. It's so sweet. You've got the cheekiest little face. I guess while she's been happy, we should crack on, babe. Yeah, boy. <laughs> We've got so much to do. I'm just gonna let you do it yourself. No, man. <laughs> Wait, really? We're moving Isabel's sofa bed to our room. Can oh, Isabel, where's the ton? Isabel's bed just arrived, so. Uh, now this becomes ours. Yay! This will be where I sleep. This when is I'm probably where you're gonna be sleeping, babe, to be fair. 90% of the time I'll be on this. Which way is it going? That way. Yeah, 90% of the time I'm gonna be on this because my. Because of my legs. I'm a, I'm a green shorts, what you're saying. <laughs> nah, man. I think it's going to look a nice saw. So, it does fit at the end of our bed, but not like. Hmm. It'd look nice if it was on an angle in the corner, like facing yeah. that way. I'm going to put it together and see what it looks like. I can't cope with you in your socks. Maybe it'll be best behind the door here, because this is quite a big space around here, you know. I think it'll look better here. Huh? And then we could move the wardrobe to there. We don't even need this wardrobe. I don't know why we've got it. We don't well, need I it. Thought, it right, yeah, I thought Isabel might want it for some clothes and things, but 
She's found out a, sim a better solution for her, so. That's all right. Babe, that's an eyesore. What are you talking about? It looks an eyesore. No, Let me just get my. Yeah, of course it does. Oh. So, guys, 45 degrees again today, so the hair's gone up, but that does not look good. I don't know what he's thinking. I don't know what you're thinking. He's going to get the head. It blocks the patio door. I mean, realistically, we're not going to be living in the bedroom, are we? It's just here to sleep in. But I think it'd be better behind the door. Babe. That's close, what are you talking about? What planet are you on? It's just like a big bulk in the corner of the room. No, I don't think it, I don't think it what, looks that bad. Babe. You've got your bedding and stuff on. The bed looks smart. That'd be all good. Babe, it's... <laughs> And then on sunny days, well, on sunny days, every day is a sunny day. You can pull it outside. <laughs> you can pull it outside. Oh my gosh, that's such a good idea. What's that? Oh, it doesn't rain, so you could actually just leave it outside. You could just sleep out there. Oh yeah, I can't sleep out there. Babe, that looks nice. I can't. That can't stay there. It's massive. It's, and where am I going to put a dressing table if I want a dressing table? It's taking well, up the whole room. We'll, we'll skip the flipping wardrobe. Get rid of the wardrobe? Yeah, we don't, no one wants the wardrobe anyway, do they? So let's get rid of it. Let's skip it. I guess it'll be okay for now. It'll be alright. Has my bed arrived? It has, hasn't it? Yeah, it's not set, I'm gonna get it done. I'm gonna go get that done. Looks like another delivery's just turned up. Daddy's gonna go mad with mama. <laughs> because I've ordered you guys slides and everything. <laughs> Silly mama. Right. Aurora's done with playing with the toys. So she's gonna sit and eat some of these. Yumminess. Whilst I make my bed. Do you want one of these? Say please. Please, Mama. She's like, give me one, you idiot. <laughs> Clap your hands like a big girl. You want one? Gonna clap your hands. Clap, clap, clap. Clapity, clapity, clap. I did capture you on my camera doing it this morning. Didn't I? On my phone. Didn't I? Shall we show everyone? Not too. Ta. Ta. See? Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> clever girl. You're so cute and clever. Right, you be a good girl whilst I make my bed. Is that a deal? Yeah? What's this? Oh, so much. So much. Thanks, babe. Nice big duvet. Oh, this is soft. This is nice and soft, Arabella. There we go. Looks a mess. Who cares? It's done. It's done, Rara. Do you look like a little monkey pup today? <laughs> Do you look like a little monkey pup? Yeah. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? Get off my camera. Get off my camera. <laughs> right, I think Daddy's made Isabel's bed, so shall we go see? Hey. <laughs> you little monkey. Like a big girl, like I'm coming now. Now I'm coming. Coming to my mama. <laughs> Come on then. Come on then. Are you coming? You want to come to mama? <laughs> a few more little Amazon purchases just arrived. I s Babe, did I order this today? Sorry. When did I order this? Honestly, Amazon here do same day. Oh, was it last night? Yeah, yeah. Can I remember? Did that? No, it wasn't. It was what happened. I think it was. Oh, you did it. No, sorry, you did it. You did it last night. We ours, yeah. Um, Amazon here do same day delivery, which is just crazy. But I ordered this for Jace and Mila. Mainly Jace for now, but um, I'm sure Mila will enjoy playing with it as well. And then I ordered some playing cards because I forgot to bring some with us. And me and the older three girls and Chris love to play cards on an evening. So on nights where. We just sat outside or whenever. Got some playing cards. And then I ordered this for my girl. 
I got it for my girl because she's into balls. Look, I got you a new ball. You wanna see? <gasps> What's this? <gasps> Ooh, it's got tags on it. You want it? <laughs> What's that? What's in there? Who is that baby? <laughs> Who is that? Who is that? It's in Rara. <gasps> is it Ta? Ta? Cheeky Ted. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> wow. That's so cool. A big girl ball. <laughs> your little thighs I love them I think for now I might put all of the like family games and homeschooling supplies in one of these drawers here so that they're all organized and kept safe I'm gonna delegate that top one guys I can't lie when we came here last night it was very exciting but it was a little bit stressful with the younger three just Aurora wasn't, it wasn't a good time of day to bring Aurora, she wasn't interested in playing that much and she just wanted to be held and feed and things like that. And Jason and Mila were quite bored just because, well actually I don't even know if it was bored, I think they were just at the, at the end of the day and they were wanting to settle down and just wind down for the day. Um, so it was just a bit chaos here when we came yesterday, but now I'm here today, I'm properly taking everything in. And I'm, I'm just feeling so grateful and so happy and so lucky. We've just built Isabel's bed. If you guys have been following the vlogs, then you might know that Isabel's... Just keep an eye on that because I'm out uh, into that man's room. Oh, right, yeah. Um, her bedroom's a small room and we weren't sure we have to go for a sofa bed or a single bed. And then we went for the sofa bed and then we regretted it. And yeah, so we got a single bed, but then we were worried like how much space she'd have in the room if a, a big single bed was up and etc. But it's all just been fixed into her room it's perfect, and it's perfect. perfect. Like, it, she's got enough space in there to move around and she's got space for her clothes, she's got a desk in there. And it's just all worked out really well. So Chris is now putting up her lamps that she got and her LED lights. I'm gonna go get her sheet um, and fix her bed up for her. And then her bedroom's not finished yet and I'm, I'm not gonna show it because the older girls want to do their own, like, they want to show it themselves, which is fair enough. So, and, and they don't want to show it until it's finished. So she wants a bookcase to go in there at the bottom of her bed. And she wants some shelves on the wall and some of her posters and things like that. So they'll do their own like tours when their rooms are finished. Boo! <laughs> oh, do you not want to be down there no more? Oh. This isn't even a big deal today. We've only got the Calyx to build now. Yeah, no, there's not much more to do. Yes, How did we only order that last night and now we've got internet? We needed internet, guys, for the new house. Chris rang up last night, like really late. It's here now. We've got it. Yeah, basically. How does that work? How does that work? It's off the chain, that's why. Everything here works with your Emirates ID card, which obviously. Oh, my picture's so bad. When I went and had my biometrics done and my Emirates ID, pictures and things, I literally looked at the picture. I was like, that's not too bad. Why, when it's been transformed onto the card, has it stretched my face like that? Mine's the worst, man. No, mine's yours the is the worst. worst. Mine's so bad, like a proper. Isabel's isn't even bad. Isabel's is not even bad. This is the kid, right? yeah, the kids are fine, but it's just mine. No, way, I look like an absolute blockhead. Only if there's a way I can show you that picture. Ooh. No, guys, what is that picture? Look at my cup. It's so bad. Anyway, anyway, to get anything here in. Dubai, you need you need to have your Emirates. Everything's done by your Emirates ID card and your fingerprint. So for the internet, for example, they just came to the door, took my fingerprint. No, they put this re residence card in the machine thing that he had. Take my fingerprint. It's just to prove who I am, basically. Um, and then yeah, look at her saying "dada." So cute. And then yeah, we've got internet. It's all done. How's that done so fast? It's amazing, man. It's all done here. It's all done by 5G, so it's like you just literally get a SIM card with a router, you plug it in, bosh, off you go. And if you're done, off you're done. Job's a good one, right? What were I just doing? Oh, Isabel's bed. I was halfway through doing her bed when the internet band came, so there's the paperwork for it. That's a receipt. Well. I'll put them with the others. Right, I'm gonna go back and crack on with Isabel's bed, and then should we go do the garden chairs? Or the yeah. toilet boxes? No, it's, it's we'll do the garden chairs last. Yeah, yeah. Also, guys, we got these cups yesterday 
from Amazon here and I showed them because I was like, these cups are so cool. They're absolutely naff. They're rubbish. The slightest bit of water, all you get is a mouthful of air. I hate it when cups do that. I've tried everything. I've reattached, you get two straws with it. I've reattached the straw. I've done all sorts. I've had it a bit looser. I've had it as tight as it'll go. I've tried everything. It's just rubbish. Right. We need to invent our own cups, babe. Okay, now on to little Mila and Jace's room. I'm going to just organize it. We don't have much for in here, but we do have the toy unit and some storage toy boxes. We've got their duvets and their duvet covers. So, and their bin and things like that. I'm gonna move the rubbish out. Um, oh, we've also got some lamps and things. So I'm gonna do all that for them now. done and look it's so adorable one thing i'm absolutely fuming about though is when we went to ikea the other day we went to get jason Mila a few bits to make this bedroom cozy and nice and cute basically for them and we let them choose their own bedding and that's what they chose we let them choose a lamp each we got them like a little wash basket and a bin and a toy unit Mila chose this absolutely adorable love heart lamp that will go on her wall just there somewhere as like a little a little night light um and jace chose a he spent ages as well choosing there was a blue butterfly a purple flower he didn't want the pink heart a, a green turtle and a white cloud so i thought the white cloud was super cute but jace was like no, I don't think I want that one. He couldn't decide between the blue butterfly and the green turtle. In the end, he chose the green turtle. We don't have it. <laughs> it's literally nowhere. So either we've bought it and left it on the conveyor belt thing where you check out, or Jace was carrying it and he put it down some. Now, I'm very vigilant with things like this at the shops because this happens every single time Chris goes shopping. We'll get the shopping home and I'm like, who's put these Haribo in? Chris's like, oh, I thought you did. And I'm like, no, I didn't put them in. And, 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 and so I'm always looking at like what we've got and things like that, and Chris never does. And I didn't go to the Tilly Ikea. I went and sat down and got us ice creams. So I probably would have noticed, I'd have been like, where's the turtle? If, if it has been the case that Jace has been carrying it and then he's just put it down instead of putting it in the basket. Either way, we don't have the turtle. So we either bought it and left it or we didn't buy it to start with and Jace put it down in the store and no, we didn't notice. But it's not ideal because now we don't have a nice little lamp for Jace's wall and it means we're gonna have to go all the way back to Ikea to repurchase. But I do have this little, that was so cheesy. No, I cannot cope for myself today. I can't cope for myself today, what am I doing? I don't. <laughs> I've got this starry sky projector for the scene and it obviously just, I was about to sit there and explain what it does, like you guys need me to explain it, obviously you don't. So I'm going to get this out and set it up. But all in all, I think this is a very cute little room for Jason Mila. And I think with a few teddies and a, a rug, a couple of rugs down and a few bits on their wall, I think it'll be really nice and cosy. Also the ceilings are absolutely massive in this house. Like the ceilings are so high up. Super cool, makes it feel nice and airy. And then just from their room there, they've also got their own little, it's not really a bathroom, shower, shower room. Uh, I would have preferred them to have the bathroom, but Esme and Isla stole that bedroom because that bedroom's slightly bigger. It's a bit bigger than this one and they wanted that. <laughs> so Jason and Mila got the shower, but that's all good because we've also got an ensuite in our bathroom, which is where I'd probably shower, uh, bath them, sorry, anyway. But it's nice that they've got their own little toilet. I've just shoved their laundry basket in there as well. That's just so adorable. Have you just been outside with Dada? You sweaty little bitty. <laughs> Chris just built the chairs in the garden and I'm just in the kitchen hating my life because what is that? I thought I'd bought a huge, a huge, no wonder it was only like 10 pound or something like that. 
but yeah it's not the bin that I was expecting and it's very small so that was a fail but I'm just trying to unbox all of the plates and the glasses I'm going to put them in the dishwasher or just give them a quick swill in the sink we've got I need to find places for like everything like this um the chopping boards I'm going to put the glasses I'm going to give these glasses a quick rinse as well as the ones that we've got in here and in here and then I think they're going to live on the drinks cart in the living room because water is pretty much what we use glasses for and we don't drink water from the taps here we drink it from the water machine thing which is in the living room so it makes sense for the glasses and things to go in there so I'm just going to wash all those now and pop all them out I think we'll be almost done after we've done this okay so very quickly i was just popping out everything here that i need to wash before i can put it all away back in the cupboards but we just got a video message from the girls and we think jace has been or they think jace has been stung by a wasp um he was in the garden playing but i sat crying said something had bit him and when they've looked at his ankle he's got like what look i've seen the video message chris has gone back I've seen the video message um, and it's like a raised lump with like a blood dot in the middle. It does look like a wasp sting. So Chris is headed straight back home because obviously it's probably nothing. It's just a wasp, just a wasp sting. Um, but when they've not been stung before and they're young, you just, you just never know. You never know how your child's going to react. They can't, I know it's rare, but they can have allergic reactions and things. So I just don't feel comfortable us being here and then being at the other house so chris has gone straight back he jumped straight in the car and he's drove back over there um just to make sure that they're definitely that he's definitely okay and not going to have any sort of reaction and i think he's going to just whilst he's there just grab them uh, not literally grab them but just you know pick them up and bring them here back to the house guys the girls just got here jace is fine by the way and we're just outside because we're just like walking around the house looking at everyone's rooms and things it's so peaceful. Oh yeah, they're really nice, aren't they? It's so peaceful and calm and nice out here. Aurora's tired, I think. But we're just on our balcony. I'm not sure what we're going to do with this. Something though. But it's lovely up here. <laughs> nice place to film TikToks. Hey Isla, you like your bedroom and stuff? I love it so much. The girls are going to do a proper bedroom tour. Yeah. But none of them want. Yeah, none of them wanted me to show their rooms until they do it themselves, basically. For the decoration, we're going to take a little bit. Yeah, because we need to order some stuff. Yeah, stuff still needs ordering, and some stuff's arriving, and but they wanted their rooms to be done before. But they're all so happy with how their rooms are, and Jason Mila bless them. Let's go to them. Which one might? Oh. We don't want you, is it? Oh, we're coming in. Guys, this is Dubai. <laughs> Dubai's off the chain. Your, your TV's broke. Well, it's not actually broke. It just didn't have, um, what was it? Didn't have, it, was just, it wasn't a smart TV. That's what it was. So you go online and you buy a new TV and you have delivery within an hour. <laughs> what the heck? Dude's just rocked up and installed it. Oh. What the heck is going on? Do bizzle it. Want a house on the farm? Do bizzle it. Literally just crafted a 65 inch TV, smart TV. What? A fat one as well, and it delivered within an hour, and they've just, they've just installed it and off they go. Oh my god, what are we going to do with this now? I'm not really sure it's you know, it's Power Rangers! Let's move this TV so they can sit down. Also, just ask me this in the garden. Babe, listen to this, because you're going to laugh your head off. See, I don't know if she's going to say it again. I don't know if it was a flu. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Wow, don't jump on the sofa, I don't want you to fall. But Mila, what do you want for your birthday? Uh, nothing. Aww. What did you tell me outside? I just said, are you going to tell me or not? And she went, not. But basically I said, what do you want for your birthday? And she went, a Taylor Swift dress. <laughs> That's so <laughs> Pardon? Mommy, the black one with the scary face one. She just keeps saying a black one with a, square, a scary face one. I have to ask the girls what she means, because they've obviously been telling her, but... Taylor Swift dress, that's what she wants. I know that's going. Pardon? I know that's going. The black one's Taylor Swift got a scary face. Can I wash your face? 
That's really cool, but let's go wash your face. Right, we're just nipping out to get some food. We've decided as it's the first night in our new house, we're going to have a takeaway tonight. We were going to order a Talabat, which is basically like a Uber Eats, and they have a huge amount of different foods on there, but we've never used it before, and gosh, I can't be bothered setting everything up. It's 7 p.m. now, so it's getting late. I just can't be bothered. However, there's a Pizza Hut truck here that do pizzas, so I'm gonna go and check that out and grab some pizzas. Oh my goodness, it smells divine here. So tempting all the restaurants to just eat out all. I totally get why people who live here don't cook. There's so many amazing food options just right on your doorstep. <laughs> back home we've got pizzas <laughs> Mina's eating curly fries and I'm eating your hair we've got pizzas oh my goodness this looks so delicious we've got another one down there Isabella's just come in and we're gonna have a nice which one should I take first first night first night meal guys yeah obviously it wouldn't be first night vibes right without a bit of this going on <laughs> One of my favourite things about this house, this staircase, is so beautiful. I'm just going to go put the little two to bed for the first time. Right, my gorgeous two, look at this cute, beautiful bedroom that you guys have got together now. It's so big and beautiful. Yeah. Tomorrow, Mila, we'll fix your pink lamp on the wall. We need to go get some bits from the shop to do that, because the bits that I got, the walls here are super, super thick and strong. And the drill bits that I got for it were no good. <laughs> they literally snapped in two. They got, I, got, I got from Amazon and they did not work at all. So we tried sticky pads and that didn't work either. So we'll fix that tomorrow. Right, you took him bed. And you took him bed. Yeah, we leave that light on all night, okay? So it's all beautiful. Yeah, but I don't know if I can sleep with that. Well, I'll come back and check to see if you've fallen asleep soon, okay? Okay. Can I have your, uh, put your glasses on the side? Oh, yeah. Right, you too. I love you both so much. Ha have an amazing sleep in your new bedroom. <laughs> and you shout me if you need me, okay? okay. I, lo I love a fool. You calling me a fool? <laughs> Cheeky girl. I love you. My fool. You're a fool. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Sleep tight. Do get your mum in bed. <laughs> Quick, tuck in. Ready? See who's fastest to tuck in? Okay. Who's going to be the fastest to fall asleep tonight? Me. Okay, me. I'm going to ask you in the morning who was the quickest to fall asleep. And you have to tell me the truth, okay? You was. I'm going to ask you in the morning who fell asleep first. Okay, me. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Close eyes. Close eyes. I love you both. Okay. Sweet dreams. Sleep tight, okay? Night night. Oh, wrong one. Nope, not that one. There we go. Sweet dreams. Sleep tight. Night night.